Okay, it's Chicken Bone John here, and I'm here with a couple of box guitars, cigar box guitars in progress. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about the sort of putting the neck into the, the body and the different ways of uh, joining them. So I've tried something new, but we'll have a look at the way I normally make a guitar. You see this is let in here, fingerboard hangs over a little bit, tailpiece is level with the top. So this is, there we go. Now that's how we normally make these guitars. You can see it's cut out top and bottom with a block that we'll just screw through. And we've put some fairly heavy blocks in the corners so we can put in strap buttons and it keeps everything rigid. So that just drops in there, top on. And as you can see, because with the way we do this, we can just shuffle that around and it allows us to have this, it just makes it a bit nicer having this overhang here. Okay, that's with the way we normally do it. And you can see we get a fairly tight joint here. I was just um, thinking about, are there any other ways of doing it? And I saw uh, an example somewhere on the, on the interweb of doing it slightly different. So I thought I'd give it a go, see if it was any better. So here we are, you know, it looks very similar on the outside, or you'll, though you see the fretboard end doesn't overhang because the next stick is notched to fit the box. And can you see that's, that's the difference. We've actually got it notched at both ends. So this gap is slightly narrower so it presents a joint there so you can see that, that this is narrower and you can't project your fretboard over because you've got to sort of fit that together like that it gives you very very similar result so um are we going to start doing all our guitars like this no i don't think so because um I was looking to, for a, a, a neater finished job. And to be honest, I think if you cut this accurately, you can get a nice tight finished job. This sort of thing covers up that joint. Um, I think it probably works better in a full height box because these two parts can still be slightly out of register and not look, not look quite neat. But there's a couple of reasons why I'm not really sold on this. There's more work because you've still got to do these slots. And then you've got to do these other two notches here to fit it in. So that's that's weakening that quite a bit by taking that notch out. You know, you're reducing the effective strength of the neck down by a good, well, blimey, good third, I would think. So that's one thing. And the other thing which I'm not mad keen on is it doesn't allow you to do this projection of the fretboard over there. If you really wanted to do that, you'd have to extend the whole thing over the neck and then you'd have to notch this out. And then I'm not sure indeed if you'd actually be able to juggle that in to get that to fit. So are we going to change from our regular way to this other way no we're not to be perfectly frank um, there's nothing wrong with either way you know well either way works it's whatever you floats your boat but to me that's a lot more work i can't have the over this overhang that i like this to me is a lot easier and a lot simpler it just means that you have to be accurate when you cut this out um so there you go whole point of this is really just to say there's no right or wrong way of doing this you can do whatever you want there's more ways of skinning a cat uh we're going to stick to this method but i'm glad i've tried doing a, an alternative method by the way this doesn't add any strength to the joint or anything because the whole thing relies on this through neck. And what you have done when you do this is you've weakened that 
a fair bit. I mean, there's plenty of strength in it, but introducing all these little angles and that, that's where you get cracks starting if, there's, if you drop it or whatever. Any sharp angles like that is going to be where you get a crack. You know, with this sort of thing, that's the commonest place to get a, a crack starting in, in here. So the number of sharp angles and cutouts you put into something like that, the worse it is. That's my two penneth. Okay, bye for now and thanks for watching.